couple of friends, I wanted to um, share a thought about how to keep moving forward at um, this time with respect to the genocide that is taking place before us in Palestine. Um, I wanted to encourage you not to waste your time arguing with people who are just parroting um, the talking points of the Israeli Defense Force and the Israeli government and the Jewish lobby here in America. Um, you know what those talking points are. It's as the uh, Palestinian delegate to the United Nations said, it's the argument that Palestinians are subhuman, they're out to kill Jews, um, that they're all terrorists, terrorist sympathizers, or human shields. Um, and it's Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Um, and if that doesn't work, then to repeat the argument that uh, the concern that we're expressing about Palestinian lives is motivated, not in fact by concern for Palestinian lives, by, by anti-Semitism. Here's what I would love for you to take to heart. If the reality of 7,000 innocent babies, children, every single one of them a precious child of God made in the image of God, if that has not been enough to awaken the dead heart of someone, you cannot help them. There's no amount of logic or fact or reasoning or love or compassion. Pray for them because their very soul is atrophy. Instead, put your time, your effort, your energy, your breath, the efficaciousness that is your life into reaching out in solidarity to people who are likely to want to do something. African-American groups, Jewish for Voices for Peace, Jewish Voices for Peace, um, your Arab neighbors, your Muslim neighbors, people who come from a colonized background, mothers groups that are recognizing the horror of having their babies starved and bombed. Ministers, it is so important to appeal to clergy, many of whom, far too many of them, have been slow to speak up. This is particularly true for Christian clergy who know all too well the long history of anti-Semitism within the church. And because of that, they feel like to speak out against the Israeli state is challenging for them. Appeal to their moral conscience. Do not dissipate your breath. You can only appeal to the conscience of someone who is open to being convinced and persuaded. As I said, if 7,000 murdered children is not enough, 10,000 is not gonna be enough, and 20,000 is not gonna be enough. The reason for that is that fundamentally they have bought into the Zionist lie that Palestinians are subhuman. You hear this language all the time. Palestinians are ants, they're animals, they're Nazis. That's on them. That's their shortcoming. Reach out to the people who know deep in their own hearts that what is taking place is repulsive, is morally repugnant. And for those of us in the United States, in these United States of America, we are complicit. 
the blood of Palestinian people is on our hands because it is we in the United States that are arming this genocidal state. It is we in the United States that have sent $250 billion of aid, mostly military aid, to this apartheid state. And it is we in the United States alone among the countries of the world that just vetoed the United States, the United Nations Security Council motion calling for a ceasefire. So we in this country have a particular moral and ethical and spiritual and political responsibility to stand up, to be seen, to be counted, and to put an end to this genocide. Preserve your breath, channel it in directions that are efficacious, and may God bring freedom and ease and liberation and healing to the people of Palestine.